Hello and welcome to a brand new Godot tutorial. Today I am going to be going over wall sliding. So if you do jump onto a wall and you can slide down the wall instead of just falling straight down based on what the gravity is set to. So if you guys do want to know how to basically do that, just watch this video. I got you. So here we go. So this is just a basic player movement. I do have a video on smooth player movement. If you do want to go check that out, I will leave a link to it in the pinned comment. But this is going to be over wall sliding. So first of all, we've got to make the wall, right? Because we need a wall to be able to wall slide on. So basically, all, uh, we could just duplicate this. Which, you know what? We will just duplicate this. Hold up. This is set up. There we go. There we go. So we'll just go here and duplicate that. Hold up. Move this. Um, transform. We will rotate this to 90 we also need to fix this collision shape so it looks decently well so let's undo that let's undo the locked children and that looks decent all right so that's a wall uh, that that can be our wall for this tutorial so let's lock the children again there we go all right so we got our wall and if we do play, nothing happens. It's just a wall. We can't slide down. We just straight up fall down. So I'm basically going to be going over how to jump on this. And you slide down slower than right how it's doing now. So it's basically like Minecraft honey blocks. Just think of Minecraft honey blocks. I also added a little area here for the new variables. You don't really have to do this. This is just so... You guys can see basically what the variables are for this. So we're going to want to first make a variable. We'll name it. Uh, we'll do wall slide speed, I guess. Speed. And then we'll equal that to. We'll do 100. We'll do 100. Uh, wall slide. We can do gravity because we need the gravity for the wall. So I cannot type today. Hold up gravity there we go and we'll equal that to like something like 100 as well it's basically the exact same thing but we will need two variables and then we need var Ooh, so we need to check if we are wall sliding or if we're not wall sliding so we'll just name it is wall sliding i mean we can do something very simple wall sliding there we go and then we want this to be a bull value so boolean and then we want this to equal to because when we start the game we're not going to be sliding so we want this to be equal to false oh my i cannot spell today but since we're not sliding when we start the game we want to be equal to we are not wall sliding because if it was the truth then it's going to say we are wall sliding so that's basically all set up right there now we need to make a new if statement here in the physics process so we're going to go if uh is on wall so i cannot type if is on wall we want this to be a variable here hold up there's uh we can do this a bunch of different ways we could do this a ton of different ways let's see uh so we'll use the built-in is on wall function so Godot does have a built is on wall function, just like the right here is on floor. There is a is on wall. There's also a is on ceiling. So we'll just use this function. And then if we're not on the floor, so if not is on floor, just like that. And then this is also, as I said, a built in function. So Godot comes with the is on floor, is on wall. There's also an is on ceiling, as I said. So that's pretty simple so if it is on wall and if it's not on the floor then we're gonna wall slide but then we want to go if input so here you could do this but this is like if you want to wall slide you have to hold the right key so if you want to wall slide you have to be holding the right so if you don't want that then you just don't have to add this little bit in here but if you do want to have to hold it to be able to wall slide then you will have to add this. So is action pressed. Where is that? Is action pressed. And then we can just go with UI left to start. So UI left. And then we want to go or input dot is. Uh, what? 
left is action press. There we go. And then UI right. Uh, hopefully we can find UI right on here. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. So UI right. And then or. Uh, boom. And then we want to also check input. Here. Here's the thing. Uh, we don't have to put this. But if you do want a joystick, you might as well put this. I mean, we haven't really put a joystick for any of this other stuff. But, you know what, we might as well just add the joystick in. Because if you do want to eventually, if you do make a game, you're going to want to most likely be able to play it with a controller. Uh, if joystick equals zero. Wait, hold up, hold up, there we go. And if it's got to be... So joystick to zero zero has to be greater than 0.3. So I'm not really gonna explain how the joystick stuff works, cause to be honest, I don't know much about the joysticks. I don't. I normally use keys, but I'm not gonna try and explain this, cause I'm gonna be honest. I really don't know how that part works. I mean, I get, I get how it works. This is just if it's moved like. So if it's moved to the right more than 0.3, then it's going to go right. If it's moved to the left more than 0.3, then it's going to go to the left. So it's basically the exact same command that we have right here on the computer, but that's just for a controller. You don't have to add that. I just, because in the future, you're going to want to add controller. And in the future, I may make videos about, uh, may make videos about like how to add controller input so we might as well have this in here already but is wall sliding equal true and then if hold up, we gotta add the colon there and then if else or else we want to make wall sliding sliding equal false just like that okay so this is basically if we're going if we're holding left or if we're holding right then we want to make wall sliding equal true if you just want to be touching the wall and you wall slide, you don't really have to input this, but I'm just going to leave it in. So you have to hold a button to be able to wall slide. So you don't just touch a wall and then wall slide because that can be any block in your game. So we will just leave it at that. We also want to add a uh, else statement on the main if statement. So if is on wall and is not on floor, add a, we can add an else statement to there. This is basically just a check. You don't really, I mean, you we'll add it we'll add it because this really does help with like bugs and stuff in the wall sliding you might as well just add this here it really does help i mean if you we'll test out what it does without this but every single time i've made wall sliding i've always added this here you know what yeah yeah when we finish we'll test out what that does without it all right um if so if is wall what if is wall sliding is equal to true then we're going to want to we want to be able to move based on what our gravity up here is so based on what our wall slide gravity we want to be able to go this speed if we are on the wall so if wall sliding equals true which is going to become from right here so if input is actually like left or right on the wall then it's going to equal this is wall sliding variable to true right here it's going to equal that to true so now we're going to check if it is true then we're going to basically turn our motion on the as we are wall sliding which our motion is already a variable if you don't know about the motion stuff make sure you do check the uh the smooth player movement in goda because i did make a pretty in-depth video on that Delta. there we go all right basically the exact same thing uh, no i could no, no no here we'll do this we'll do this you... actually there's different i don't know there's like three different ways we could do this entire part right here uh we'll do this motion and then, so these are basically just our two variables. Here, motion dot y, my bad. Motion dot y. These are basically just our two variables, and then wall slide speed. There we go. There we go. 
Here, here, I'm gonna move this up. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But okay, so if is on floor, this all is basically the exact same. Wall sliding should work. Wait, I think, let's see, wall sliding speed, gravity, wall sliding equals true, then motion dot speed. We can give it a test. We can give it a test. So if we're jumping around, we're jumping around. Looky there. So like whenever we touch the wall, this is normal gravity. This is wall slide gravity. Normal wall slide. If you are making this for your own game, if you're just copying the exact code that's right here, make sure before you say it doesn't work, make sure you jump up and hold to the right. You gotta hold to the right. Or if it's a left wall, then you hold to the left. But yeah, that's basically wall setting. And also I was gonna show if we do exit that out right there. Hold up. Yeah. Hold up, we gotta add a pass here. There we go. If we were to have that out. Hmm. That's actually a lot different than what I expected it to do. It doesn't really make a difference. I expected this to do something way do. Okay. Yeah, so I guess that really does not matter. I expect I expected something else to happen there. I guess not though. Yeah, I so that really does not matter. But that works perfectly fine. And if you do want to be able to if you're touching a wall, you auto slide. You can just uh, tag all this right here out. Um if is on wall and then we got to go if wall sliding equals we'd have to change up a lot though we just do one and then wall sliding equals one this may not work this may actually not work hold up you're right you're right game This may not, I think it should though. Hold up, I'm. Ah, okay, okay. I see how it's working. So really though? you need nothing all you need is this all you need is this and this and these variables whoa okay okay oh, so here's how this is working so if we do jump up we have to be holding the right to stay on the wall because as soon as we let go we're not touching the wall anymore we're off the wall by like a little bit it doesn't look like it but we are off the wall or the game is counting us as off the wall so that's kind of how this still works which i was not expecting at all here we can just leave this all though we will just leave all this as it was before just like this uh there we go there we go my bad so what we'll, hold up we gotta equal this to false again if equals false, no, if equals true, my bad. If equals true, and then up here we need to make this equal a Boolean statement, Fal false, there we go. That should work. And everything's back. So that's basically how you make wall sliding in Godet for a 2D platformer. This is basically the exact same physics as what's in a Minecraft honey block. As you slide down the honey block slower. I hope that's what you were talking about. Thank you so much, Albert Adam, for asking the question. Can you make a wall slide vid in Godot? I hope this is what you were talking about. Thank you so, so, so much. I really do appreciate that. And uh, have a great day, everybody. Also, Villian Games. 
that dialogue system is on the way i'm going to be uploading that here in just a little bit not today i don't think but most likely tomorrow so hope you have a good day villain games albert and everybody else who is watching this video have a wonderful and a fantastic rest of your day if you do have any suggestions for tutorials comment them down below and i will be sure to make them for you but have a great day guys and i'll see you guys next time in a brand new godot tutorial coding video yeah have a great day see you soon goodbye